Hey Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about specifically what you can do with this 22 inch touchscreen. So um, on, our, on the best system as we call it, we have good, better, and best. The best system comes with this 22 inch touchscreen and you can do a whole lot of things with this 22 inch. Now currently I'm running a program called Air Manager and what Air Manager allows me to do is up here I can just have scenery and then I could have all my instruments, you can see they're responding, down here on this lower monitor. The other good thing is it's touch enabled, so if you come down here you can uh, turn these knobs. See I'm turning the knob here by just swiping. So a number of the fun, you know, I can turn the battery off and back on and you know, avionics off and back on. Um, flip switches um, using touch. So that's kind of nice. You won't find that to be like revolutionary, but it is nice to be able to reach down here and, and touch things and um, change instruments. Now Air Manager doesn't come with it. It's a piece of software. It runs around $35, but it's, it's in euros so that it fluctuates based on the uh, exchange rate. But it's made by Sim Innovations, and we can provide the directions on how to set that up, assuming that's the way you want to use this monitor down here. Now, you know, another way you could use this monitor is let's, let's close Air Manager. We'll go back up here and bring our cockpit back up. Let's say um, you want to have the map open. So I just hit M for map. And uh, I'm going to hit this little, in the upper right-hand corner, if you click, It'll open it up in a window that can be dragged outside of the X-Plane window. And now we have it down here on the lower display. And we have an IFR high-end route showing. We could do a VFR um, sectional. You can, you know, zoom in and out. You will see that, you know, the storms will show. You see we've got some thunderstorms over here when we zoom in. So weather is indicated on here. So that's nice. That's, a, that's one of the ways you can use it. Another way you could use this is, let's say you turn this screen away from the pilot. You could actually make it into an instructor station. So I choose instructor operating station. And now I have the instructor station down here. So now I can go and I can kind of mess around with the person who is flying. I can change the, you know, the time of day, make it night you know, make it afternoon, change the center of gravity, uh, and, and all kinds of things. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can even change what kind of plane this is. So, you know, you could, you could point this monitor away from the person flying and kind of use it as an instructor station. So let's turn that back off. And lastly, you can open up a browser window. And so if you're wanting to review some of the training materials of the Pilot Workshop's website, you can have that open here and be looking at, at, at one of the videos or some sort of documentation while simultaneously having X-Plane flying up here. So just to recap, you can use this to review the Pilot Workshop's website and, and videos and training or any other website you might need to go to. You could uh, purchase Air Manager around $35 or so and have your instruments down here and have them be touch enabled. See I'm scrolling here using the touch. And then lastly um, you could put the, the map down here or the instructor station down here. Um, on this bottom monitor. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. That's why we put this into the best system. Do you need this? No, but it does enhance things uh, quite a bit.